Hi kids, welcome back to Dixie Storytime World. Do you have a little bit of dinosaur in you? Well, let's find out in A Little Bit of That Dinosaur, written by Eileen Hutchison and Darcy Patterson. You have a little bit of Hadrosaurus in your thick skull. Don't believe me? Well, it's all your cousin's fault. Now listen up, here's how it happened. Once in days of old, just like now, the air was full of nitrogen. Mostly it was two nitrogen atoms stuck together. A storm rolled and brewed. Lightning flashed. The heat from the lightning split the nitrogen. The nitrogen atom grabbed an oxygen atom to become nitrate. The nitrate fell with the rain and soaked into the soil. There it was taken up by a horsetail plant. A hungry Hadrosaurus lumbered along. She was so big that she was always hungry. When she saw the horsetail plants, she gobbled them up and the nitrogen atom became a little bit of the dinosaur. The mother Hadrosaurus migrated to nesting grounds and built a nest. When she laid an egg, the nitrogen atom became part of the egg shell. But a landslide covered the egg with mud. The egg hardened into rock. Time ticked by. The land became fields. A farmer planted peanuts, which grew and sent out roots. Bit by bit, water washed away a little bit of dinosaur from the fossilized Hadrosaurus egg. Bacteria in the peanut roots absorbed the nitrate and changed it to usable nitrogen so the plant could make peanuts. The farmer harvested the peanut with the nitrogen atom that was once a little bit of dinosaur. The peanuts were packaged and a trucker delivered the peanuts to the ball field. You sat with your cousin and watched the baseball game. You both cracked peanuts and ate them. Your cousin dared you to throw a peanut into the air and catch it with your mouth. You threw it high. You moved back and forth until... The peanut that had nitrogen that used to be in a dinosaur landed in your mouth. See, I told you it was your cousin's fault. Your body took that little bit of dinosaur and used it to make your body a little bit stronger. You have a little bit of Hadrosaurus in your thick skull. If you look closely, you might see a little bit of Archaeopteryx in your feathered face or and a little bit of ankylosaur in your knobbly tail, or a little bit of iguanodon in your strange hands, or a little bit of gigantosaurus in your thick legs, and when your days on earth are done and your body returns to the land, that little bit of dinosaur will be used again. Maybe someday the nitrogen will travel halfway around the world and wind up in the beak of a little blue penguin. All matter and all living things are made up of atoms, tiny particles that you can only see with powerful microscopes. The main atoms that make up living things are carbon, hydrogen, oxygen, nitrogen, phosphorus and sulphur. When any living thing dies, the atoms that make it up are used over and over in new living things. The atoms go from a living thing to the soil, air or water, and then back into a living thing again. Thank you kids for listening and learning. I'll see you soon in another adventure. Always remember to be good, polite and kind.